Hello, I'm Mindy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a bookshelf tour of my horror mass market paperback books. The six books that I have showing in the front right now are the six books that I have read and still own. I usually get rid of all my books after I read them unless they are favorites and it wasn't until quite recently, sometime this year, I decided to collect some of the older cool covers and stuff like that for mass market paperbacks. So the first book is The Matrix by John Acliffe and this is about a man who recently lost his wife and becomes obsessed with researching magic and the occult and he comes across a very evil grimoire of spells and a strange man helps him study this book and it leads him down a very dark path. Next is The Hellbound Heart by Clive Barker. I just finished this book and it's a very short novella about a man. It starts with a man who find, who gets a box and the promise is that this box will bring him great pleasure. So he figures out how to open this puzzle box thing and then these strange people from another dimension come and it turns out their idea of pleasure is actually pain. The next book, The Reckoning by Ruby Jean Jensen. Love that cover. And this is a small town with a revival, a church revival going on and children from the town start disappearing and then later on they start to reappear but they are not the same. Next is The Rising by Brian King. This is an interesting take on a no zombie novel. It has the animals all becoming zombies as well as the people. And it was a fun read for sure. Next is The Shining by Stephen King. I love that old cover. And it's one of my favorite Stephen King books. Gotta love The Overlook Hotel. And The Ruins by Scott Smith, which I recently finished. And it is the best of survival horror that I have read. It takes place at what should be a ruins in Mexico and a group of vacationers encounter a lot more than they're thinking at this ruin site. On top of The Hellbound Heart by Clive Barker, I also have The Great and Secret Show and The Damnation Game by Clive Barker and I hope to read them soon. By Ramsey Campbell, I have The Parasite, The Influence, and The One Safe Place. And The Influence is a cover featured in Paperbacks from Hell. So that's one of my favorite finds. This is another great cover. I have Shaitan by Max Ehrlich. Next I have When Darkness Loves Us by Elizabeth Engstrom. And this is another one from my Paperbacks from Hell collection. My Paperbacks from Hell collection is small but mighty at the moment. I do love the ones that I have found. Next I have Red Dragon and The Silence of the Lambs by Thomas Harris, which is book one and two in the Hannibal series. I also have King of the Ants by Charles Higson and Ghosts by Noelle Hind. Rocking the Cradle by Nancy Baker Jacobs. Next is Blood Secrets by Craig Jones. 
Last year, I found a bunch of Brian Keene's mass market paper paperbacks at a giant book sale. And on top of The Rising, which I've already read, I picked up City of the Dead, A Gathering of Crows, Urban Gothic, Terminal, Ghoul, and Dark Hollow. Love to know which one I should read next. By Jack Ketchum, I have Off Season, The Girl Next Door, and Red. I picked up Girl Next Door a long time ago because it was on a bunch of lists of the scariest horror books, and I still haven't read it because I'm a little nervous to try it. For Stephen King, Mass Market Paperbacks, on top of my awesome copy of The Shining, I have The Green Mile and Mr. Mercedes, which I want to read both of them very soon. And by Dean Koontz, I have Velocity, which I've heard some pretty good things about. And I have Odd Hours and Odd Apocalypse, which are two of the Odd Thomas series, which I am about halfway through at this point, and I want to finish up the series at some point. I really loved Odd Thomas, the first book. I have The Keeper by Sarah Langan. I have The Beast House and Blood Games by Richard Lehman. Here I have an old copy of This Perfect Day by Ira Levin. And I really loved Rosemary's Baby, so I am excited to read some more Ira Levin. The Bentley Little books that I have found so far are Dispatch, University, The Summoning, and The House. I found a bunch more, but I'm not sure which ones I want to read and which ones I don't. Uh, let me know if any of these are a good place to start. This is Shadow Dreams by Elizabeth Massey. I've heard good things about Elizabeth, Elizabeth Massey and this is a pretty cool cover. My Robert R. McCammon mass market paperback collection so far includes Swan Song, Boy's Life, Mine, and Gone South. I also have a hardcover that you will see in another video. I have Somebody Come and Play by Claire McNally, and this is another one of my paperback from hell cover finds. I am always so excited when I find these out in the wild at my local used bookstore. The Devil's Advocate by Andrew Niederman. The Cold One by Christopher Pike. Tower Hill by Sarah Pinborough. The Hollower by Mary San Giovanni. The House Next Door by Anne River Siddons. Oh, and I have The Talisman by P um, Stephen King and Peter Straub, which I apparently had listed under Straub, but I think I'm going to move it over to my Stephen King section. This is Majestic by Whitley Strieber. Perfume by Patrick Seusskind, which I am really excited to read. I have Disturb Not the Dream by Paula Trackman, which I believe is a Paperbacks from Hell cover. Let me know if I'm right or wrong. And the last book on my mass market paperback bookshelf tour is The Longest Night by J.N. Williamson. And this is for sure featured in Paperbacks from Hell. So those are all the books that I have so far collected mass market paperback horror. Let me know if you have any of these, what you think of my collection, and any other tidbits of information you want to give me. If you like this video, you can hit like and subscribe, and I'll be back very soon with another book-related video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye!